Hello lovely humans, welcome to another vlog. I'm literally filming this on the day it's supposed to go live. <laughs> Cause I didn't have anything else prepared. Um, and this is the sprayer that we will be returning. We are going to be doing a clean with me video today because um, my birthday's tomorrow and I don't know exactly what's happening this weekend but I do know that my husband said people will be at our house. Which is super sweet but I do not want my house to be in its current state with people in it. It needs a desperate cleaning. And we have not done a clean with me video in a very long time. So I figured why not, let's get ready for guests to come over this weekend, let's see how quickly I can get everything done, um, and then I'll use you guys as motivation for fun time lapses and a really good before and after, because let me tell you, there are some spaces in this house that are well overdue for a glorious looking after, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> So of course we are ringless today because I don't know about you, but I do not like having rings on when I'm cleaning. I also don't like having rings on when I put on makeup or when I wash my hands. Maybe it's a, it's a sensory thing, I don't know. <laughs> now the reason I'm making this video is I know I owe you guys a video on endocrine disruptors. Your endocrine system is what controls your hormones or helps create your hormones, not helps, does create your hormones. And when you have a pervasive amount of endocrine disruptors in your life and in your home and in your cleaning products, that can actually keep you from having normal hormones which can cause infertility. This is a wild journey. We will make a video about this coming soon, I promise. But that's why I think it is so important to try to find low toxic or non-toxic ingredients to use in your home. And that's what today's video is gonna be. You're gonna see that all these products work amazing. Some of them are a little bit different than their chemical cousins, but that's okay, we'll take it. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Look at your poor arm. Yeah. It's like a Hulk smash arm. Yeah. You just smashed through the door. You wanna tell them what happened? So I was jumping on the trampoline with Isabella and we had the sprinkler under the trampoline. Yeah. And Isabella gave me a super jump. I wanted a super jump. Yeah. And then I fell and I, what I think happened is that I bent it the wrong way. Yeah. Too far. Yep. And this is the last position I got into so this is how I got it like this. So he ended up breaking his elbow. Um, bad enough or good enough, depending on how you look at it, that he needed to have surgery and have two screws put in. So we have another- And also stitches. And also stitches, yes. Yeah. So we have another month left in the cast, which it's actually harder to keep you still than it is <laughs> to keep you, like you, you don't want to rest. You just want to go out and play, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just want to like move it left and right. I know. Okay, I mean, let's, I, let's let's be I gentle can with your. Move it like this. Yeah. And this. Yep. But just like not move my elbow. Obviously, because it needs to stay in the same position to heal, right? Yeah. Because we talked about how the screws are doing what they're letting your bones what. Heal. And helping it so that it doesn't move around. And your bones are doing what right now? They are. They're healing. Growing back together, huh? Yeah. God made our bodies so cool. Um, so big bummer, <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Cast Man. But luckily, he should have it all off before it gets hot enough to even want to go into a pool here in Texas. Um, so you broke it at the perfect time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I already want to go to the pool. Yeah, but it's been getting really warm. It's been getting steadily warmer, huh? It's it's the spring. Yeah. Not the proper time yet. First area we are going to tackle is going to be the kitchen. My mentality when it comes to cleaning is clear flat surfaces and go top down because, and this is something my mom taught me, she used to have a cleaning business. You always want to dust before you do the floors because then you want to dust whatever is there off onto the floors um, and you don't want to clean something down low and then go up high. So same goes for like the bathroom. I do the mirror first and then the counters. Uh, well, actually, then I do the sink and then the counters in case any of the water splashes around it. I don't really have anything to do up top unless I'm cleaning my cupboards, which I'm not doing today because uh, I don't have time for that. Just not today. <laughs> today, we are putting a Band-Aid on this bad boy. So we need clean, flat surfaces. I will give you a decent before. Not bad, just some leftovers from lunch. We got bread rising. A um, couple dishes that need to be put away. Full disclosure, I'm not gonna be washing any dishes right now. Anything that's left over that needs to be washed, I'm just gonna put into the sink so I can fully clear off this countertop because what ends up happening is we just have like clusters of things that just live in places um, instead of fully getting put away. So that's my goal for this. 
when you don't like uh, cleaning, yeah, it doesn't mean you're going to have a bad time, a really bad time. Because when it's done, it's going to look really good. And it feels so good. Yeah. Um, um, what else do we do to make cleaning feel better? Uh, putting stuff away. We, we do what? Oh, and we do timers. Normally do. We do timers, which makes it feel like we're beating a timer, huh? Yeah. And we play some music. Yeah, sometimes we do. Well, I'm going to go ahead and show them this area so they can see what it looks like after. Oh, baby's away. Oh, baby. <laughs> All right, I'll get her in a sec. No, I, I need to see if she sees, like, the dark seder again. Oh, probably. And you go see. And here is the before. I've been working on painting the hallway. Um, which I'm so happy about that we no longer have the brown MDF, but I would like for this to get cleaned up because this is just like a dump zone for a lot of things as well. So I'd like to find a new home for the eggs, just something else we can do, but I can't leave them down here because the baby is now crawling and getting to those. All right, now for the time lapse of this, I'm going to clear off the counters, wipe them off, any excess that like I'm wiping off the counters as it falls to the floor. Ready, set, go! <laughs> One thing I try to do as I'm doing a bigger clean like this is when I pull stuff away to wipe underneath, I try to wipe everything down before I put it back. So I will wiped down the lamp, the top of the bread box, the toaster. Um, I swapped out this book, but I wiped off the other book before I put it back just in case I had any splatter on it because we cook here and live here. <laughs> and then Silas obviously did a full vacuum of the area. This all over here is looking pretty decent. We're gonna go ahead and leave it for now. I'll have the kids tackle those dishes later. Now two of my holy grail cleaning products are one, these super cheap washcloths, like a terry cloth washcloth. These grab everything. I use this to dust lampshades, only a clean one. Obviously you don't wanna use one that's not clean on a white lampshade, but this gets all of the lint off of a lampshade. And then I use it as my first sweep um, on the countertop to pick up any chunks, any debris like that, because it's just, obviously it's terry cloth, it's a little bit rough. And then we have these reusable paper towels, they're called unpaper towels. Um, I get them from a company called Marley's Monsters, and I probably am due for a new round because they're all just very dingy looking. I've had them for years. They have held up incredibly well. I think only one seam has ripped on a single one of the 24 that I purchased. So then I'll use our cleaning products um, and I'll use these because they just go straight into the wash afterwards. So I don't have to keep buying paper towels over and over and over again. We still always have them on hand because we have animals, you know, and if they have accidents in the house, I don't necessarily want to be using a reusable cloth on that, you know, because like laundry's sake. <laughs> I'm not completely against it. I've, I've used one of those uh, white terry cloths before to like really work out a stain or something, but um, yeah, we, we keep the disposable paper towels on hand just in case. And then I use Branch Basics. Um, I know they have an affiliate program, I'm not a part of it, but I do like that they have this big old concentrate that you can get. Oh, I just flipped that out. Where did I put it? Oh, I think it's down the hallway. 
So you get this giant bottle of concentrate that you can use for, I think, three different purposes. Bathroom, streak-free, um, and all-purpose. You can also use this concentrate for other things, but those are the ones that I particularly use the most, so I have them in their Branch Basics bottles, and I also have them in amber bottles, so I try to keep one set of these under each sink. This is a hack that my mom taught me forever ago, so you're not walking around from bathroom to bathroom or different spaces um, with cleaning product. You can just have one under each sink wherever you're gonna be doing the cleaning. So I saved the bottles from my shampoo, and I bought these nifty little sprayers on Amazon. Anything I can link down below, I totally will if you guys are interested. I will say that the Branch Basics Streak free is not. No, it's not. <laughs> not even close. So I did end up getting the one from Azure Standard. They have a glass cleaner and it's better, but I'll show you what I have to do with my mirrors because the crunchy stuff is just not as good. <laughs> it's not as good at cleaning glass as the non-crunchy. So it actually requires an extra step. But if that means that I'm keeping the extra toxins out, that's okay because it really doesn't take that much more time. Next up, kitchen table which is just like the dumping zone. And then I gotta figure out what to do with those eggs because I don't want them just sitting out. All right, let's roll. Murphy's oil soap. I always call it soap oil. <laughs> Murphy's oil soap. That is 98% uh, naturally derived ingredients. So we love that. This is specifically for cleaning wood. This table is an unfinished pine and I want it that way on purpose. I like the nicks, I like the grooves, I like the patina that's slowly gonna happen to this table, but that doesn't mean I want it unclean. So I have a bottle of almost all the way full. I'm slowly being stalked by a cranky baby. <laughs> So I have it almost all the way full with hot water and then I'm just gonna mix in. This is supposed to be two ounces in a gallon, so it really doesn't, like a little bit of this goes a very, very long way. I'm gonna do, hopefully not spill. That seems good. We're just eyeballing it. It's not a big deal. And then these are the lids I get off of Amazon. So they are, Absolutely perfect. So I'm just gonna give this a good shake and make sure it's well incorporated. And then use my handy dandy vintage embossing um, label maker and I'm just gonna put Murphy's on it because I know exactly what it is. Ta-da! I don't know why little stuff like this makes my heart so happy. I love buying cleaners in concentrated form. Yes, it's a lot bigger to store, but then I'm not paying per bottle, and I can put it in glass bottles whenever I want to use that instead. So it's, it's like it's, it's, it's like it's free. It's girl math, right? Okay, let's clean this table. And again, I already dusted off using one of these, and I'm actually gonna use this to clean it as well, if this is just a separate one. I have so many of these. We use these for milking goats to like clean off their udders before milking. But because we're working with an unfinished kind of like, it's still smooth to the touch, but it's got some grooves in it, uh, I want a more grippy fabric to get all the stuff out. I have barely done a fourth of the table, and look at that. This stuff is so good. But I also think the rag helps because it's definitely like scrubbing. Oh, but you can see my, oh, hello, you fell over. You can see my finger marks. Oh my gosh.
going to be cleaning off our chairs. You can use this on finished and unfinished wood, which we love. This one is where the baby's up seat usually goes, and for some reason it got extremely sticky underneath. I, I don't know if it's because humidity or what, but we, we try to sit in the seat now and our tushies get stuck. There's like imprints of our jeans left over. Oh yeah, look at that. Wait a minute. <gasps> Wait, is that the finish coming off? No way. Okay, wait, you need to get closer for this. This is wild. Okay, so you can see there's like a film where it's all sticky. So I'm just rubbing this and you can see like stuff's like coming up with it. Oh my goodness. What is happening? That is wild. Is that the finish coming off? Oh my. Oh my. But you can see it's still sticky here and it's no longer sticky here. So I don't know what intarnation is happening. Okay, let's clean this together. Did I just unlock something? Because there's a very, oh no. Something's coming off. What is happening? I don't understand. The only thing I can think of is having her booster seat on this chair somehow trapped humidity and loosened the finish? That does not make any sense. What the heck? But look at, how I can't leave it like this, but like, I can't spend all this time on this chair. I thought I was just wiping stickiness off. Oh no, okay, okay. We're gonna test out the arm. This, is, this video is spiraling. I didn't realize this was gonna happen. Okay, we're gonna go for an, a cleaner part of the rag. I'm gonna spray the arm and see maybe the soap oil is causing this to come off or maybe it's just a bad finish. Just gently, it's coming off. What? Okay, maybe don't use this on certain, because I, I don't know what this, what? Is that bad? Okay, well. I don't know what to tell you. I don't think it's actually like removing a ton. But just enough. Okay. Did that just backfire on us? <laughs> okay, because this is like covered in black. Maybe it's a wax finish. I'm gonna read on the label real quick before we go any further because I do not want to be destroying my chairs. Okay, it says, finished wood surfaces, wood floors, cabinets, tables, and chairs, wood paneling, laminate floors, and bookcases, and non-wood surfaces. No wax floors, ceramic tile, painted surfaces like the chairs, vinyl floors, leather upholstery, and washable surfaces. Why is that coming off? And now it's like a, maybe it's drying, but now it's like a matte finish. What did I just do? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, okay. Let's just tuck this back under here and pretend like this never happened. Okay, we're gonna let this dry and we'll come back to it later. The only thing I can think is maybe this had a wax finish on it and somehow the soap is like doing things. The pantry is in desperate need of picking up, but I do not have time for that right now. What I'm just gonna do actually is I'm just gonna make a space where I can put the eggs in here because I don't want them sitting out. Um, any longer and they're kind of driving me nuts and this feels like a just a little random dump zone like I don't know we have juice over here juice goes over there or jelly jelly usually goes up and over here um, and tomato soups so these are way too sweet by the way <laughs> so I'm just gonna shove them in another location and get the eggs out of the other room
I'm realizing I screwed up. I should have done the shelf first and cleaned that off, dusted everything, because now I'm putting dusty items on top of my clean table. But it's not that big of a deal because it's not that dusty. But like, do as they say, not as I knew. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is my husband's like dumping zone. So he keeps his keys in it, or like his watch and wallet and everything up here. His backpack goes down there, and then uh, my purses and stuff go on this side. But it kind of ends up being a dumping zone for everything because it's right inside our back door, and he comes in through the garage right here and just drops everything off. So I'm gonna get this cleared off, we're gonna dust the table, and then I'm gonna probably wrap up this clean with me by cleaning the mirror. Um, and I'll show you the issues that I run into with, look at that baby, hi baby. Show you the issues I ran into with most of the clean um, glass cleaners and then the solution for it, even though it's annoying because it's two steps. Again, say it with me, we'll take it over the toxins. Yes, thank you. All right, last time lapse for the video, let's go. saying things that you already know but you want to make sure that you're dusting off dry before you put anything on it um because otherwise you could just make everything really gummy so this towel is slightly damp that's okay i just want to make sure i'm dry cleaning this first like dry brushing it real quick before spraying my cleaner on it and i realized that i treat murphy soap oil like pledge like i just use it for all the dusting and all the polishing and all the things hi <laughs> you want to say hello with your cute little hairs yeah <laughs> hi baby look at this up here Wow, we got lots going on. Okay, I'm gonna go dust the table. Ooh, you've got lots going on. I know what I'm cleaning next. That's so sweet. <laughs> it's not how I saw the clean with me ending. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm standing over here. Hold on. Oh, I screwed up again. I like to dust this mirror first. All these little nooks and crannies are so obnoxious. This is just permanently dirty. <laughs> I love the mirror. I guess we don't need that anymore, dear. So that's already done. But this, this needs something a little bit more intense than a rag that I am just not gonna do right now because I highly doubt people are gonna be paying that close attention unless they watch this video and then they're gonna be like, oh, I saw it. Now that it's all dusted off, we're gonna go in with the Murphy soap oil and just spray it down. I use this stuff very liberally because it also nourishes the wood. This is gonna be a little difficult because I've got someone using me as full body support. Huh? <laughs> you hanging on to mama? So I can't set this down anywhere because then she's gonna grab it. So we're gonna throw that in the pocket and hope for the best. And try not to move so she doesn't fall down. This thing has been, it hasn't been refinished in 20 years, so. It's got lots of character. <laughs> my mom redid my birthday, or redid my room for my 16th birthday, and I'm literally about to be 36 tomorrow, so. This piece has not been touched or updated in quite literally 20 years. But I do love how a good little spot of Murphy soap oil makes it just look so much better. Definitely could use a new refinish, but not today. So for today, we're just gonna make it a little bit better. Okay. What are you, what are you doing? Miss ma'am, miss ma'am. <laughs> all right, time to put it all back. Next up, 
for the glass, I'm gonna use the Azure Standard um, glass cleaner, and I have a fresh towel, totally dry. This is one of the circumstances that every once in a while I will bust out a regular paper towel because there is something about them that just clean better. And I know that I can use newspaper, but we don't get a newspaper delivered, and I'm not driving into town to go get one. So I'm gonna clean it with this, um, kind of get all the spots off, and then I'm gonna go back through and polish it with this microfiber cloth, which for those of my friends with sensory issues, I know, I know this is a struggle, but you just throw a glove on and then it's totally fine. You know, maybe, yeah, this, this gets me a little bit. Okay, give you a little before. Let's see if we can get the right, ink. maybe if I go this way. So you can see it's just kind of smeary a little bit. See, there, we've got some spots going on. You might not be able to, oh, you can see some smearing right here above where the light is. Let's see if we can get rid of those using this two-step hack. I saw someone else do this, so we're just gonna give it a try. Holy smokes. Did that work? Look above the light. There's no smearing. You guys, crunchy France. This is it, this is the solution. There's like a permanent scratch mark that's right there. This mirror is also quite old, but oh my goodness. It took me maybe an extra 60 seconds, not kidding. So this combo works, Azure Standard Glass Cleaner. Uh, I probably won't use this cloth again because it did leave quite a bit of lint, um, but luckily this picked it up. Microfiber cloth. Who would have thunk it? I lied, there's gonna be one more thing that we are doing at the, to wrap up this video. We're gonna start up a load of laundry because your girl has a crunchy laundry routine. Um, that hopefully, help some of y'all out and I know, hi baby, come on. I know I owe y'all a video on endocrine disruptors and all that jazz, but in the meantime, this video is going to serve as like the holding place for where all the cleaning, all the cleaning products are going to be listed. So I'm just gonna do a round of towels because we have so many humans in this house. So, so many towels. And these are my little like, it's also from the same company I got the reusable paper towels from. These are my makeup remover towels, a little mesh bag. <sighs> Oh, you're falling. <laughs> we actually store our laundry detergent in this olive oil container because these shelves are so shallow that I can't fit most of my laundry products in there. Um, in fact, most of them sit out here on the dryer, which is super obnoxious because this is literally right in the middle of our hallway with no doors on it. But I just wanted something a little bit more aesthetically pleasing and we already have so many jugs of things sitting out that um, I wanted this to look a little bit nicer. So I got my hands on an organic, let's see if I can, there we go. Um, an organic detergent, you guys, it's great. I was worried that it wouldn't be like as effective. Um, and of course, all of the clean natural ones, oh no, I can't close, can I close this one handed? <gasps> Oh, skill. Not gonna lie, it does drip a little if you don't get it all the way closed. A lot of times the cleaner cleaning products seem as though they're not as effective as the chemical ones, and frankly, I think that's probably very accurate. I don't mind, though. So we just do probably half, meh, that's more like a third a cup, a third a cap full of that one. And then for you guys, if you are using fabric softener, first of all, hate to break it to you, that stuff has got a bunch of toxins in it. Um, and then second of all, it's just putting a layer of that on your clothes, and then it's touching your body, and it's actually making it, what is it, more water repellent? White vinegar does the same exact thing. So I pour white vinegar into where the fabric softener would go, and when I'm doing towels, in case they're a little musty, I'll just do a little, just a dabble do you around the outside because that way it'll help to kind of kill the smell and your load will not come out actually smelling like vinegar. I know it's really strong when you're doing it, but trust me on this, it comes out smelling perfectly clean. There we go. And then the last, and last but most certainly not least, if you are not using wool dryer balls, you are missing out. It picks up on length. They actually will tumble around the dryer to help like literally beat out the brindles. So you can get them in like alpaca wool, all these different sorts. I don't remember where I got them, but I will go ahead and link some suitable ones um, down below. If you're into essential oils, you can put a couple drops on those to make it scented. We are not super into them. I don't use them very often. Um, but uh, I have used them on the dryer balls in the past and it smells fantastic. So that's all for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the vlog here. This swings down. <laughs>
<laughs> I hope this inspires you to get in your house, get cleaning. I know sometimes it is not fun. Try some music, try a timer, put on a time lapse, like just get yourself moving. And I'm also here to encourage you if you are on the non-toxic journey and you're trying to replace things, I've compiled all of my favorite ingredients for you in the description box down below. Be sure to check those out. What did you find? That's not for your mouth. That's already wet. Oh, you stink. Okay. <laughs> oh, you stinky baby. All right. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Say bye. Say bye. Yeah. Yeah.